Hey everyone, so I just wanted to make a quick video because you guys know how I still main Windows 7. In this system I have a, um, here's the window, the uh, uh, 9900K, 32 gig of RAM, Windows 7 Ultimate 64 bit, and I just wanted to show you all that Steam still indeed does work on Windows 7. It still says Steam will stop running on Windows 7 in zero days, but, and yeah, I know there's no ta uh, taskbar here, but, um, I'm actually do recording this on my second monitor because my my main monitor is that 49 inch and it's too wide so I just did it on this monitor but yeah this is the June 16th build I have a feeling I'm still archiving these but I the reason I'm not putting it up on that other video on how to run Steam on Windows 7 it's because right now there's really you know no need for, for it right now because maybe I, I probably maybe I should put it back but um, right now the latest version still works you can go on uh, Steam's website and um, Just download it as you normally would. Install it as you normally would. The latest stable and beta build still work. It's uh, June 16th. We're basically halfway through the year already. So, um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video on that. Hopefully, by the seeing as they just switched to Chromium 109, hopefully. It'll st it could still work on keep getting updated on 7 for the next couple of years. And before any of you tell me no, you should be you you're going to get a virus because you keep running Windows 10 or no, cuz you know what? I have an ad blocker and a pop-up blocker and I'm not stupid. I you know, I know what I'm doing. And modern routers have you know firewalls built in and that's really all you need so no I'm not gonna be switching to 10 or 11 and you know Linux I've tried a few times right now that just doesn't work when I'm using stuff like Premiere Pro and but there's absolute anything beyond for me anything beyond 8.1 is just horrible you know I was using 10 for a couple years you know when I got my oculus rift I sold it because I remember that the time I was using Windows 10 it was a nightmare for me it was just back when I had my 6700k I had a I lost my my I had a down, I had a stable 4.85 gigahertz overclock on my 6700K on 7, and then when I switched to 10 because I couldn't get my Oculus Rift working that I got for Christmas in 2017, I it had to be brought down to 4.2 or it wasn't stable. So, and it just it was randomly deleting stuff. I couldn't shut off Windows Defender. It was automatically updating. So. No, I don't ever want to go back to Windows 10. I don't want to deal with 10 or 11. I don't care what anyone says. If, if I could be using Daily Driving 2000 right now, I, I would. And with the extended kernel by uh, Blackwing Cat, I mean, you can use browsers uh, ported from XP, but... You know, it would be nice to get some good browsers for Vanilla 2000, but for now, and I am hoping, I know I recently just did that 13700K, but then I sold it, 
I still have my 3090 Ti, but I sold it because, and now I, I built this uh, 9900K, which um, I also am dual booting with, uh, I have a 24 gig Quadro M6000, I can just pull that up really quick, it's right here, and, uh, but I also have 64 bit, that's the absolute best card you can use for, uh, you know, XP. <sighs> but I really am considering one of these days if I could if I could get a Threadripper and maybe a second 3090 Ti and use that. I'm st I would still use Windows 7 or Server 2008 R2 so I can use more RAM than 192 gigs, but I don't play I don't play I don't do anything that needs Windows 10. So why would I switch to When you think about it with all the back doors that Microsoft opens on 10 and 11, 7's actually a lot more secure. So I just mainly wanted to show you guys though that Steam is still working great. So thank you all for watching.